and I distributed it. But seriously, I started drinking in February. It's also one of the dates you mentioned. In February, Vanessa told me, Julie, you are not drinking enough. Are you drinking yourself? I know you're helping a lot of people. Are you drinking it yourself? I said, no. But I'll drink, I'll drink. From that day, I drank. It was such an impossible thing to drink two glasses, but I could do two liters. Seriously, I drank from February because I knew my results were going to, my next track was in June. Came June, I was a little trembling, quite confident of the water still because it had hydrated myself. The results that should happen on anybody who is drinking has happened on me. It is not that the, the water can possibly cure you. The cure, the change is inevitable. It comes to you. You don't have to ask for it. You just need to do one thing, drink. Right. So I drank. Came June, I went for my next scan. I couldn't wait for the results. I told the radi radiographer, do the liver first. She said, no, five organs. Do the liver first. I laid down straight. And she started scanning. I said, I had five cysts last year. Please look at it now. She said, are you sure you remember correctly? I can see only two. What my eye can see are only two. I said, I had five. So I twisted my body. I said, check 360. Make sure you don't miscount. There were only two cysts. And both of them were below one cm in size. Which is the smaller, which is smaller than the smaller cyst I had a year ago. Three have disappeared. I was thankful. You know what it's like to be in a doctor's office. The doctor tells you something that you have and does not give you a solution. I think I'm very interested to know how many of us here in this room have faced a situation like that where the doctor tells you what you have. Please raise your hands. One. The doctor tells you what you have and you don't know what to do about it. You have to look for some help, whether it's Chinese or Western medicine, right? It is a very painful thing. The cyst may not be at a stage where it will kill you, but it's a nasty thought going to sleep, thinking that tomorrow your cyst may become different. And they may come, they may reach a stage where you cannot control. Yeah? So I'm very grateful for the water that I have been introduced to, thanks to Vanessa. Prior to that, in 2010, I had also through a medical check. The doctor told me I had a growth in my bladder, a very nasty growth, but she didn't know what it was. I had to come back for her to take a sample to check, and then later, if it needed to be removed, I had to come back for it to be removed. My decision was to the doctor was, please take it out if it's not normal. Is it normal for cysts or things like that to grow in the bladder? Not normal. Okay, take it out. No, we need to ex examine. I said, no, you take it out. It's my body. I decide. So anyway, uh, on the day where I had to be in the operation theater, when she saw what she saw, she had it removed immediately and had it tested. It was precancerous. Precancerous. So you see, if she had left it there, and I didn't know what is pre-cancer, I would sit on it. And her doctors, her nurses would call me for an appointment. So it was removed. But what scares me, what scared me real bad was, after the surgery, I was in a stupor. They came and showed me this is what was removed. So I didn't really see anything anyway, it was sent to the lab. So a while later when I woke, the nurse says, uh, Dr. Ng Le Guat, some of you may know her, from the urology of, uh, uh, SGH. She said, Dr. Ng wants you to stay for the night. I said, I'm staying anyway. I can't cook myself tonight, so I'm staying anyway. She said, no. Her instructions are for you to stay so that she could do for you a wash in the bladder. The wash is a chemo wash. Tell you what happened. After that, I, I, re I resisted, but eventually I gave in. When the chemo wash was done before they sent me home, the doctor came to see me personally. And she said, when you go home, you're supposed to be in this diaper for three days. Every time you use the toilet, you have to cover the lid and flush it, wait for it to fill and flush it twice. That was poison they put in my body. 
and Tangan water is flushing it for me now. I'm very grateful to have learned this water. I mean, if anybody who is not in contact with this water, you just send a layman out to go and find water. We all know good and bad, relative, subjective. What's good to you is not good to you, it's not good to you. So there are many degrees of good and bad. But the right thing to look for, I was taught when I was a child, my father said, don't look for good and bad, it's endless. Look for the right versus the wrong. So Kangen water is the right one. I took it and I'm getting better. Thank you.